New tonight, Columbus, it is booming. And so is our water usage. And that likely means you could pay more for your water bill very soon. The capital city is building a fourth water treatment plant designed to keep up with the soaring demand in northwest Franklin County. So take a look tonight. The average daily water usage has skyrocketed since 2018. And tonight, 10 TV's Kevin Landers looks at how much more water this plant plans to deliver. This region is supposed to grow by up to 700,000 people by 2050. So we're trying to take a very proactive response to this and make sure that we have the water as folks move into our region. This $1.6 billion home road water plant is the answer. Initially, this plant will, will start up at 48 million gallons per day. Um, we have the capacity to go up to, to 80 million gallons per day. Millions of gallons of water that will be pumped into homes and businesses from the sun, thanks to an array of floating solar panels. Actually, the entire plant can be run by that solar uh, facility. This map on the left shows how the city's three water plants feed Columbus customers today. On the right shows how the home road plant will deliver water in the future by taking over most of the northwestern part of the region. The whole region's growing as a whole. So this plant really does help with that overall regional growth. With growth comes growing pains. The city admits water rates will need to increase to support the project. What do you anticipate the, how high the rates could go up? I'm not sure right now. We're in the process of evaluating that. Those rates will be coming out later this year. The water from this plant will be pumped through massive water pipes that will stretch more than 15 miles. This map shows the path that will need to be dug through Delaware County into Dublin and connecting to Columbus lines. The city says water levels in the Scioto River won't be impacted, but there could be some disruption for those who have water wells near the project. But during construction, we will have to dewater some of the area. So we may impact some of the neighborhood wells. Built on the former Scioto Juvenile Correction Facility, the city bought the land from the state in 2015 in anticipation of projected growth. The city says the plant is expected to open in 2030. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Now the state of Ohio is chipping in $50 million towards the cost of this project. The rest is coming from federal, federal government, rather, but with recent funding cuts, the city may have to explore some other loan options.